Hi guys, my name's Phoebe. We will be talking about depression today and ultimately how to say goodbye to it, how to let it go and just start living our life and being happier and to let go of that struggle, to let go of that pain, to let go of that burden that is weighing down your shoulders. No more. No more of that. I invite you to grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, put your cozies on, and just sit down and just relax. Just hear me out. Just hear what I have to say because it might just change your life. I used to always ask the question, will my depression ever go? I used to ask people that I knew struggled with depression. I used to ask people that didn't struggle with depression. I used to ask my counselors. I used to seek out just that one person that would say, yes, you're not going to deal with that forever. But I never got that. I had people telling me, it'll get less. You'll learn how to deal with it, but it'll always be there. And for me, hearing those words, it was like, no. Like, no, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to live my life with this anymore I want to really really get rid of it because I want to start being happy and I want to stop struggling and I want to stop fighting and I want to stop burying my emotions and I just want to live free why can other people live free I would ask why is it that I have to deal with this you might have the same questions you might be asking the same questions right now or you might have asked it in the past but I know a lot of people that struggle with depression or anxiety or any other kind of mental illness they ask these questions because they don't want to deal with it forever because it's just too much I used to fight my depression I used to really fight it I used to bury it under the rug I didn't want it to see the light of day I would try and distract myself I would drink I would um, Get addicted to things because for that moment it would take me away from those bad feelings but that's not the way to do it and it starts with saying goodbye it starts with saying goodbye to depression i have dealt with depression for as long as i can remember a very like my whole life i have dealt with depression and my family has dealt with depression and it was horrible nobody could understand me I I felt alone and I felt like nothing I would ever do no amount of research would get rid of it I used to think because I dealt with it for so long because I can't remember the time that I didn't have depression maybe that's just it maybe those people were right Maybe, that I, maybe this is something I have to deal with and this is just something I have to live with. And a lot of people get to that point of, well, then there's no point. I can't do this anymore. And you'll, you'll find a lot of people will attempt suicide or will get suicidal thoughts because they feel like that's their only way out. But I am here to tell you that that is not your only way out. I made it out. I can happily say... I am not depressed anymore. I'm not. That aching depression that wouldn't leave, that was persistent, that's not there anymore. One day I discovered a man named Sidney Banks and I started watching his videos on YouTube. I was reading a book at the time and they mentioned his name. So I searched him up and he had this theory on the three principles. And under this theory, he talks about universal mind, universal consciousness, and universal thought. Those were the three principles. And the more I listened to what people would say about it, the more confused I would get. But something in me knew it was true. Something in me awoke. And I realized I was causing my depression. It's not my fault. I wasn't taught how to deal with it better. I wasn't taught about depression. So it wasn't my fault. I was innocently doing it. 
but I was the cause of my depression. Our mind is a really, really powerful place. Insanely powerful. Our mind is what illustrates what's out there. I'll give you an example, all right? I could look at a tree and you could look at the same tree and we could have completely different perceptions on what that tree means to us. I could see that tree as being beautiful um, and vibrant and it was amazing because that particular day it was giving me just the amount of shade I needed. You could look at that tree and think, oh, it's too big. Oh, no, it's, it's blocking my view. You know, and our perception of that tree is the same tree, but it looks completely different. And that comes down to our mind and what we're thinking. Our mind is the formless energy that animates life. Our mind. We see life the way we see it through our mind. We experience life through our mind, through our consciousness and through our thought. That is the way we experience life. The real cause of mental illness isn't life. All right, I'll say that again. The real cause of mental illness, depression, anxiety, that's not life. It's your perception of life. It's the commotion and the personalization that our minds make up about this life. We have the power through thought to think whatever it is that we want. We have thoughts come up in our mind all the time. My advice to you is don't claim those thoughts as yours because you could think from one scale to the other. It doesn't mean it's your thoughts. They've just come into your mind. As soon as you claim them, that is when they become your thoughts. But otherwise they're not. They're just thoughts. They just come and they go. And through our thoughts is how we experience our emotions. So from thought, our emotions arise. So if we thought nothing, you'll find that our emotions is quite still. As soon as we think about something, it will arise an emotion in us. Sometimes thoughts can come as a trigger and our emotions can peak really quickly. And, um, you almost don't even realize that you've thought that thought because it was just a habit. Let me explain something that broke me. It just, I realized, oh my God, we feel our thinking, not the outside world. We feel our thinking, not the outside world. Our thinking is what we perceive the outside world to be, but the outside world just is. We create the emotion behind it. We create our experiences with it. A tree is a tree. A tree becomes more than a tree when we start thinking it to become more than a tree. Everything comes through our mind. By changing our thoughts, we change our feelings. And that changes our view of the world. By changing our thoughts, that changes our feelings. And ultimately, that changes our view of the world. That changes our view of depression. That changes our view of anxiety. It's what we are choosing to think. It's what we are choosing to focus on. And oftentimes, it is habit. And we have to break that habit. But the greatest news is, is you have the power to do that. You can decide right now, I'm not feeling this anymore. I'm not depressed because that is my thought and I choose to align with that thought and that's it and when I found that out and when I made that discovery and then when I decided to do that my life changed I didn't have to align with those thoughts anymore they weren't my thoughts they weren't what I wanted so they're not my thoughts I didn't shove them aside anymore I just didn't give them that attention. I just let them go. Because that is not what I want in my life. And the freedom that brought me to realize that, hey, 
I don't have to become my thoughts. I don't have to feel them. I don't have to align with them. That freed me. A lot of people tell you, oh, if you're thinking that way, then it must mean that something's wrong. No, it doesn't mean that something is wrong. It means that you need to change your thinking about it. We have the control to feel and think what we want. There is endless possibilities out there. If you change your thinking, you change your world. Because your world is animated through the mind. The problem never is the problem. Your problem is the thinking about the problem. I'll leave you with this last question. What power are you giving your thoughts? And what thoughts are you giving the power? I hope this has encouraged you. I hope this has brought some enlightenment into your life. And I hope that this has given you the courage and the understanding to start to change your world. And it's amazing because the way to do that is to just change your thinking. And that is something that you're in control of. You are in control of it. You have got this. Thank you. Bye.